Hello Gemini and welcome to your general reading for the second half of November 2019. This is for Gemini Sun, Moon and Rising and I recommend you also check for other elements in your birth chart and watch those readings to get additional messages. I pick up on the strongest energies around the collective but this may or may not be your story. If you're interested in a personal reading or to purchase my illumination deck used in my readings, the link to Etsy is down below in the description box. Okay, uh, Gemini, I did a little uh, meditating before the reading and um, I got some interesting energies. Um, the first is about um, um, taking a look at yourself in the context of, of something else or like some sort of self-reflection. This could be uh, at the tail end of something you've uh, thought about, gone through. Um, but I, I did pick up on um, um, destruction, manipulation. There was, there was just sort of this gnarly energy around um, my meditation. So I don't know where that will go. It may or may not be related to the overall message, but let's just see where we go. I'm going to take a quick drink of my tea. Okay, let's see what wants to come out. Spirit, what are the overall energies for Gemini for the last half of November? Strongest energies, please, around Gemini. What can you tell us, please? Okay. Awareness. This is the magician energy in the regular tarot. Hope, which is the star and patience, which is temperance. A lot of healing energy I'm feeling around this. Okay, let's see what else wants to come out. Spirit, what other messages do you have for the sign of Gemini for the last half of November 2019? What other messages need to come through for Gemini, please? Wow, jumpy cards, and they're upright, too. Okay, um, wow, 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 wow. Okay, <laughs> um, wow, uh, sorry. Mental conflict, <laughs> this is just a lot of, of really nice energy, actually. Uh, mental conflict, so this is deep in thought about something. This is something that is kind of weighing on your mind. We have, I'm doing this in a particular order, healing your heart. That's that star and temperance energy here. I feel like there's some healing that's been going on. It could be related to something that just kind of turned your world upside down. Um, then we have ask for guidance. Spend some time together. Loyalty. And then we have two cards. We have Christmas and next year, both timing cards. These could be very specific timing cards for just a few of you, but we'll keep them up. Okay. Wow. Nice. So let's use the Arcanum Tarot and see what we have around this message. Okay, Spirit. What other messages need to come through for the sign of Gemini? For the last half of November, please, Gemini, what other messages do you want to tell them, please, Spirit? Gemini, last half of November. Okay, Spirit, what do you want to tell us? Anything else for Gemini, please, for the last half of November? Anything else for Gemini? Okay. okay. Let's see. Those two are going to be that way. This is this way. Okay. We have the Ten of Pentacles reversed. This is feeling like your stability has been rocked. This could be you or someone in your energy. Nine of Swords. Worry, anxiety. 
being in your head about something, not sleeping. Knight of Swords reversed. Wow. Um, so upright, the Knight of Swords is about determination. This could be, um, this could be like a lack of direction in this situation. We have the Seven of Pentacles. This is about putting work into something, waiting for something to come to fruition. This is a, this is, I do definitely do get a waiting energy here. And I think it's, I really believe it's around healing. I'm getting that here. I'm getting it here. And then we have the hermit. Yeah, that's solitary energy. It's also about, it's, this is a very spiritual card. It's about um, going within inner guidance. And then we have the page of cups. This is uh, an offer of love. This can be an apology. Okay, wow. So let's see where we go with this. Okay, for Gemini, end of November, Spirit, clarify the Ten of Pentacles reversed. Why is that here? Okay. Okay. Six of Cups with the Nine of Swords. The Six of Cups is about nostalgia. It can also be about, um, you know, it's it can be soulmate energy, someone from your past feeling stressed. We have Nine of Swords out twice. There's a lot of anxiety around this connection. What else? Ten of Pentacles reverse. What else, please? What else? Why is there anxiety? Let's ask that. What's going on here? Mm. Okay. Um, so the Eight of Pentacles is about um, effort, putting in work. This is... Um, Potentially a, a relationship that you had invested some time in. And because of something that occurred, there's, there's the need for strength. Bottom of the deck, Eight of Wands. It's about communication. What else? What else? High Priestess, this is about trusting your intuition. Deep knowing. This could be a very spiritual connection. This can be about secrets. It can be about something that's not revealed. Ace of Wands. There's passion or the desire for a passionate new start. Bottom of the deck, tower. Let's clarify the Knight of Swords reversed. Why is that here for Gemini? Knight of Swords reversed. Why is that here? Ooh, did that want to come out? I, I couldn't tell if it was this one. I think it was, but it. let's just keep going. Knight of Swords reversed. Knight of Swords reversed. Okay, we've got a few. Page of Swords. This can be about um, delivering the truth. This can be about uh, a revelation. This can be communication. It can be um, digital communication. It can be spying. The Lover's Page of Pentacles. This is a declaration regarding a love relationship. Gemini, there you are. There's your card. Pages, messages. I feel like there's there's a desire to communicate. Bottom of the deck, Empress. Let's clarify Seven of Pentacles. There's an element of waiting here. What is that about? Seven of Pentacles. Cooperation, collaboration, building on a foundation. Wanting to... Meet in the middle. 
interesting pentacle energy around this. What else? Seven of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles. What else, Spirit? Seven of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles. The moon. The moon can represent deep feelings. It can represent secrets. It could be that um, there's been a long wait to come together for reasons not yet revealed. Hmm. Let's move on to the hermit. Why is the hermit here? Hermit, why is that energy here, spirit? For Gemini, last half of November. Clarify the hermit, please. Why is the hermit here? I'm, I'm getting this feeling of um, taking time to go within, evaluating choices. The Seven of Cups represents having choices, not wanting to make the wrong choice. Okay. Bottom of the deck. Judgment, coming back together, reunion, reconciliation. Somebody is deep in thought about this. What else? Hermit, Hermit, Seven of Cups. What else do you have for Gemini, please? Hermit, Seven of Cups. Okay. Mm. Thinking about heartbreak. Did someone... Was someone's heart broken? We have healing your heart here, and we have hurt here. So something may have happened. I just saw 1111 on the clock. Something may have happened to cause this heartbreak in the past, but somebody is having the strength to trust their intuition to have a passionate new beginning. There's really deep introspection here. No wonder we have the hermit and mental conflict. Yeah, no doubt. Oof, bottom of the deck, tower. Something, something was turned on its head. Okay, let's move on to the page of cups. We'll lighten the mood here. Page of cups. Why is that here for Gemini for the last half of November? Page of cups. Page of Cups, why is that here? Page of Cups, why is that here, Spirit? Okay. <laughs> Hermit energy again, yeah. Inner guidance, guided by intuition. I just got that, thank you, Spirit. Guided by intuition. Needi needing to make a choice. Yes. The hand of the divine offering a cup of love. This person is looking at these cups from the past. Maybe not seeing what's right in front of them. Hmm. Okay. Any other messages that need to come through spirit for... Gemini for the last half of November. Any other messages, please? Is there anything else Gemini needs to know? Anything else? Anything else for Gemini? Okay. Four of Swords reversed. This is coming out of a, a period of waiting. Heart, your heart's been healed. You've meditated on what has occurred. And you're coming out of that quiet period. And again, this is you or the person in your life. A little bit of guard, guardedness here, but determined. The Nine of Wands is about determination and will. Keeping up the good work, moving forward. Okay, I am going to get a Romance Angel on this one. Some of them I've been pulling this and some I have not, but I feel like this one feels like, you know... Um, 
deep soulmate energy is at play here and I just like spirit to tell us one more message please for Gemini end of November regarding this spread what other message spirit do you have for Gemini regarding this relationship anything else for Gemini please We have two. First one, religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Wow. I think I mentioned with this high priestess, this is a, a deep spiritual union, deep soulmate union. Next up, express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. I feel like, you know, with healing your heart, loyalty, you know, there's, there's something unfolding here. And I, I think that, you know, whatever has occurred in the past, whatever heartbreak, whatever upheaval took place to kind of turn your world upside down, I, I think that, you know, you will work through this. Things will come to light. I think that I, I think that this has a good outcome. Um, let me get it. the other Rider weight deck. Spirit, is there anything else you want to tell Gemini about the outcome? Well, that probably wanted to come out. I'm going to leave it. I, I, I've learned, don't put them away. They come out anyway. So we have, um, I'm going to start with this, the Four of Swords again. There's been some healing that's taken place. Somebody is manifesting. There's the magician manifesting something new and looking in a new direction, looking to the horizon, moving forward in life toward a new beginning in love. That brings a lot of happiness. I'm going to leave it there, Gemini. That's a beautiful reading. I hope that uh, whatever situation you're in, um, that by Christmas next year, um, sometime around the holidays or the beginning of the new year, 2020, that this unfolds for you. This is nice. This is nice energy. Okay, Gemini, thank you again for being here. Wishing you all love and light. Bye.